as we promised, we continue our safari deep into the Kenyan evening. Well, I say deep into the Kenyan evening. It's only ten past seven. But we will continue to broadcast throughout the night. And we've got the two females of the Angama Pride live here in Kenya hunting zebra. We've been with them all afternoon. This female that you're watching at the moment has put in so much time and effort in trying to sneak up on the zebra herds and it just hasn't worked. But now a blanket of darkness has fallen and I think her luck might be about to change. The second lioness has finally caught up with her and there's some straggling zebra that haven't yet made it up the mountain. She's making her way there towards them. I can't see the second lioness anymore. She was around. Where'd she go? She's tucked around there somewhere. There she is. Now oh, the zebra are still quite far away. And we're going to do this whole thing in infrared, which is going to be a little bit tricky. There she goes. She's going to duck down there. Oh, they're going to manage it. There's a forest up ahead. Lots and lots of cover, which you didn't have earlier. I think we should keep going. Let's go forward so we can catch up with them. All right. Quick introduction for those of you that are joining us perhaps for the first time. My name is Jamie. This evening, Manu is on camera with me. Let's see if we can get to these lionesses. I'm hoping this road is going to take us there. My hopes have been dashed. It is not. All right. I've never been afraid of a off-road drive in the dark. And all of this, of course, is being filmed in infrared. And James, you say that the excitement never ends. I agree, James. Not here, it does not. Not when we've got the fantastic technology to be able to follow these hunting cats. Goodness, this is new territory for me. Right, where is she? There she is. Can you see her there, Manu? I can just see the white reflection of her chest. The gloom is well and truly set in, but the zebra are gone. There's another one. There's two lionesses. Where are your zebra girls? I think you're just that little bit too late. Let me just go up around this. No, wait. Let's just wait here. Can you scan in front of me, Manu, for a second and just see if there's any zebra around this... in this gap somewhere here? I feel like I would have seen them. I can just, just, just see. Okay. Lioness is moving once again off to my left. Megan, you say we need a kill. Not as much as they do, Megan. Not as much as they do. And I am certain that they're going to kill tonight. I'm I'm 100% certain. I just don't know when. I don't know what it's going to be. I don't know if it's going to be zebra this time around. But I am absolutely certain that these lionesses are going to kill tonight. And we're going to have a repeat of the scene that we had with myself and Steph not so long ago. I know exactly where the cubs are. I was with them earlier this afternoon. <clears throat> for our new viewers, or perhaps someone who's just discovered this live stream by accident, this is the Angama Pride. Four lionesses, and they have ten cubs between three of them. That's a lot of mouths to feed, which means that every night they are busy on the search, on the hunt for something. I think they're too late with the zebra, though. Let's go a little bit closer, just to see their body language. interesting part of the park. I've never been here before. And that's why it's quite interesting because there's, there's some large dips that we definitely don't want to drive into. So let's stop right there and answer Dina's question. Dina, you want to know if I've heard or seen any hyena recently or this evening? Not yet. Not yet, but they are around. We know that they den at the base of our mountain. We know that the mountain clan uh, spend a lot of time, that, that we've given them the nickname, the Mountain Clan, spend a lot of time around here. So oh, there's a good chance they will make an appearance tonight as well. Okay, lionesses have settled down. How's your lights doing there, Manu? Still, still working or are we 
facing a problem. No, we're still working. I wonder where the third lioness is, and the fourth one, come to think of it. There's a chilly breeze setting in already. It's going to be a very crisp, a very cold night, and I think I can probably put my binoculars aside. Torna, very close to the camp, as it so happens. Very, very close to the camp. I would say in a straight line, I'm probably not much more than about five kilometers away. Oh, here she comes. She's still trying. You can see how hungry she is. Look at that empty belly. So, Dawn, in a straight line, I'm quite close in, a, in driving time, probably about half an hour. I didn't have to go very far this afternoon to catch up with the lions. Basically, all I did was drive straight onto the main road, and there they were. Very convenient. There she goes. Up around the top of the termite mound, here comes the second lioness. Jessica, yes, the males do hunt as well. There's this fabulous old rumour that lion males don't hunt. This, of course, is utter nonsense. They can hunt. That doesn't mean to say, I'm going to reposition for you, Manu, just so that we can see them without you struggling with the pole in the way. There's this old wives' tale that male lions do not hunt. It's utter nonsense. They have to hunt, especially when they leave their pride, because they have to support themselves. Everybody, hold on. I can't see. So we could go over a bump or two. There's our lioness. So they have to, male lions do have to hunt when they leave their pride. They have to support themselves. And they will also participate in hunts if they happen to be with the females at the time. So yes, male lions can and do hunt. They hunt very effectively. And in fact, whilst they don't have the same stamina as the females because they're bigger and they overheat faster, whilst they don't have the same stamina, they most definitely do hunt. And they actually contribute enormously when hunting large prey because they're just that much bigger and stronger. Right, I think our lionesses have settled down. There's no zebra that I can see. They're just finding themselves a place. I wonder where the rest of the evening is going to take us. Where are these ladies going to take us tonight? Remember, the bright lights that you're seeing are infrared lights, so the lionesses can't see it. It's not bothering them in any way. That's why we use it. How far up the mountain do these lions go? It's another question. I've heard them roaring pretty close before. On those nights where we are in bed asleep. She's still listening. You want to see what's behind her? You want to see what's behind her? I don't think there's anything behind her. I think she wouldn't have gone up on the termite mound. Pardon? Behind us. Oh, behind us. What is behind us? Let me have a look. Oh, that is the elephant. Oh, there's an elephant behind us. Is there an elephant right on top of us? <laughs> behind us. <laughs> I'm just being told there's an elephant behind us, but I can't actually see where said elephant is. Right, I think that this is it from our lions, and we will continue to follow them throughout the evening, but I think for now, this is it from their hunt.